welcome back. We're going to finish our discussion on going from Fisher to line projection with this final worked out example. And then I'll leave you with a few more problems to practice on your own. And as always, if you have questions, bring it up on your thoughts or in class while you are there in person. All right, without further ado, we have a molecule. Looks huge, but nothing to worry. The process is the same. I can give you a 10 million carbon compound. The process is the same. Uh, with that said, this is glucose. So if you're wondering what glucose looks like, well, that's how it looks like in two dimension. Um, we're going to see how it looks like in three dimension momentarily. Now, for people that are going on to take biochem, you might find it helpful because the Fisher projection comes back there. While your teacher may not ask you to do RNS in a biochem class, uh, Fisher projection is commonly the method of choice used in biochemistry textbooks. So reading structures might become a little more easier. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and put our picture up on screen and start numbering. So let's start from the top like we did for the previous example. So it'll be one, two, clearly there are what four pivot points. So that's four, one above, one below, so that's six, six carbons. So don't make the mistake. Glucose is a six carbon sugar, so if you say five or four, then you're clearly wrong. I'm correct here. And as always, we're going to assume our hydrogen is in the front position. Okay, so this is four, obviously. This is one. This is attached to a double bond. Remember, CHO is nothing but aldehyde, right? So it's C double bond OH. So that takes precedence over whatever is down there. So one, two, three and four, so it's one, two, three, so that's counterclockwise, and front is R, so we know that's R, and clearly, again, we're gonna go the same route, so this is four, this is one, this is two, this is three, so one, two, three is clockwise, and front would be S. Again, I'm zipping through because I wanna keep this video very, very short, so that's four, one, two, three. So one, two, three is counterclockwise in front. Again, we have R. Again, I'm going to go through this really quick. So that's four, that's one, that's two, that's three. So again, counterclockwise in front, and that'll be R as well. Okay. Good. That means we have two three, four, five corresponds to R, S, R, R. That's what we want. So we have six carbons. So let's go draw one, two, three, four, five, six. This carbon is attached to a double bond O and a H. And this carbon is nothing but a CH2 and it's attached to an OH. This is not chiral. So because we assume our hydrogen is in the front position, let's do the same. So our hydrogen in this is hydrogen is in the front, so OH is in the back. Again, we're going to assume hydrogen is in the front for our initial rough structures on all the cases. Just makes life easy. You know, the, the more you can minimize the variable that you have to play with, the lesser uh, difficult is going to be make your life easier. All right, let's go do the RNS for this. So this is one, two, three, and four. That's that's counterclockwise and front. Counterclockwise friend is R, so we're good. If you are, if if it looks good as it is, then we don't need to make any changes. So one, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, three. So that is clockwise and front is S, right? So that's checking out as well. Seems like we don't have to make any change at all. But we'll see. One, two, three, and four. So that's again counterclockwise and front. That's R and for this one, okay, for three. Finally, one, two, three, and four. That's 
clockwise in front and S. There we go. We finally hit it. It's S. That's not what we want. We put a question mark. That means when we go redraw the structure, we swap the position of those two things, but otherwise the rest of them will look exactly the same. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a CH2OH. This is, oops, this is the C double bond OH. And since these are all checked out, we're gonna leave them as it is. No need to change those. And I'm writing really fast, so my pen is trying really hard to catch up to me. OH and H, O, H. Also, sometimes the pen works better if I'm on the topper part of the screen than the bottom, because I think it just has its own line. So again, this is the area of interest. The O, H now moves to the front. The hydrogen moves to the back. And there we go, folks. The correct line structure or three-dimensional structure for glucose because now we have R S R R. This is R S R and R. There we go. That's what we want, and that's it. So let me put the practice problems. And I want you to practice. I have the answers ready. So if you do it, bring it up, bring it to me in class, and I'm your coach, and I will look over it and let you know if you did it right or wrong. All right, so stay tuned for the next material.